So we just got into this house. Built in 1899. Five bedrooms, three bathrooms. We got in over there. You can see this place is filled with debris, drywall tables, old jukebox doors. Looks like uh, kind of like a hoarder lived here in this room. But when you come over here, you'll really see some treasures. This was like a dining room. Glass table held up by none other than the famous gargoyles that you see. Stone gargoyles, complete with a chain and lock, uh, some vinyl, old vinyl next to it. James Brown, the Beatles, and my personal favorite, Mary Poppins. Uh, Muppets. All vinyl up on the table. Incredible. Look at the dust and debris. And then over here is a, a antique fireplace. This is like granite and marble, original to the house. So the gargoyles' heads are basically balancing, and there's three of them. And each one of them is identical with the chains and the tongue hanging out. Some of the details is just incredible. You can see the cobwebs hanging. This house has been abandoned for a long time too, as you can clearly see on some of the stuff, the debris. This, shit, this is very old stuff. Probably been sitting in here forever. I mean, hand carved detail, if you look at the bottom of it. I'm sure that this is an antique and I'm sure it's worth something. And if you make your way past the fireplace again and the table, you come out here in the uh, living room, family room. We got this vintage stove here, oven. Incredible. Art Laurel. That thing's probably antique and worth a lot of money too. Look at the details on it and the uh, glass work and just amazing. Um, and then over here you have the mail. This is the fireplace. It's it's uh, sinking in a little bit. The floor is actually caving in over here, so you have to be careful and watch your step. The clock is still there above the mantel. The fireplace. Dining room table. Again, we have more hand carved woodwork. Probably a vintage antique uh, table here for the dining set. And you can see broken plates candle holders as if somebody just got up for dinner and left and then you got the chairs the matching chairs and if you come over here you got two twin gargoyles again so there's five gargoyles total three holding the dining room table and then one on each side of the living room desk all identical again tongue out wings you can really see the wingspan here and you can see the chain real good. And then this desk and crystal ball, this, I, don't, I don't know what this actually is, but I guess it was a light at one time because you can see the electrical work, but it's literally about to fall from the ceiling. <laughs> it's about to fall down, um, but it's amazing. It's got like brass fixtures and flowers around it. Um, elephants with that are like fighting cobwebs all over it. I mean, all this stuff is just sitting here like this. And the decay on the desk, not even on the gargoyle. I like to think maybe this is like a crystal ball or something, you know? Make some wishes with that thing. That painting on the wall. Looks like some nice uh, Venice scenery there. Looks like Italy or something. And then obviously the couch has seen better days. The cushions are ripped, the upholstery's ripped up. But you can tell, again, with the hand-carved wooden detail, this couch has to be over 100 years old, and you can see just all the details, the floral carvings that went into this amazing couch. And some of the uh, fabric and upholstery is still on. You can see it there and there and on each side. But just incredible uh, hand-carved details and ornate woodwork that you really don't see too often. And then this jukebox over here. Oh, that, this is cool. This is the main entrance. 
like I said, there's a lot of hoarding going on in this one room, so it's hard to see, but this was the main entrance chandelier that welcomed you when you came into the main front door, which is right to the left there. And then this is the jukebox. I mean, this is something you never really see. I mean, it's cool, obviously it doesn't work anymore and it's probably old as shit, but um, very cool. You can see it's still got all the uh, insides and Somebody probably collect that thing, you know? It's amazing. Old lights. Modern lights. Pretty cool though. Love the table, how it's all set up. Incredible stuff. Living room is one of my favorite rooms probably. You can see the ceiling. It's gonna have some more and more damage as the uh, water starts to come in more and more. And that's probably why it's collapsing over here. <sighs> It's unfortunate, but the house is 130 years old, 120 something years old. So then we'll make our way through here, back to the hoarding room. Kitchen, you can see more hoarding stuff. This room isn't nearly as hoarded, but it's still got a lot of junk in it and not really that much to photograph or the video. But if we go upstairs, we can see the bedrooms and the bathrooms. This is kind of cool. You can see they still have all these spice rack over here. All the spices still. And some green tea and coffee mugs and stuff. It's just cool that they still have it. Nothing else really in here. Um, most of this is just junk. But if you come in here, the bathroom is really cool. Bathroom. This was the obviously in the master. I mean, they have the tub, ironing board, another uh, dresser thing here, some knickknacks. But the bathtub here, clawfoot. I always love a clawfoot tub. Antique, vintage, worth worth money. A lot of people collect them. The clawfoots are really cool. So this tub was most likely original in the house too. You can see the former residence clothes still hanging up. Like and this is iron board, iron, uh, this vintage painting and table, lamp table thing. Incredible. Even the old radiators, original. Original radiators. Some cool details on that. And then he's got his old shirt hanging here. Another mirror. Uh, these are like two angels playing musical instruments. I can see the decay and the debris there. Another mirror. So the bathroom was obviously pretty cool. I'm sure there was a seat here at one point that was ripped out. Really cool bathroom though. The colors are cool too, and the pink in here. Another bedroom, as you can see. The windows are cool because you have some of the uh, original stained glass up here. And the wallpaper, and some of the original boobs on the wall, but not really photo worthy. Come through here. More junk. This room's pretty lame, pretty boring. There's a couch and fixture, but it's nothing that cool. And if you come this way, this leads to the main entrance down there where that uh, chandelier was. And if you come through here. This is the bookshelf and the uh, old golf clubs. The guy was a golfer. He had some golf clubs, puzzles, games, books, a lot of knickknacks in here. Um, you could see he's got some dolls and some knickknacks in the windows, some old hand This is why I think the, the owner or the resident of the house really was into woodwork because a lot of the vintage furniture is hand carved woodwork, but he's also got this hand carved woodwork stuff that he got in Jamaica. It says from Jamaica on it. And then these ones too. I mean, he might've done it himself for all I know, but it's cool that that's there. 
and it's pretty old and it's still set up like that. There's even a uh, little car there and another one, another figurine, all made of wood. And then you've got the uh, makeshift fireplace. Football, giant football, but nothing beats the uh, Lee Iacocca book. The golf clubs, just some, just really cool stuff. And then, um, obviously, I've like seen better days, but the chair, it's the original, one of the original fireplaces. Clock still hanging. Interesting. Um, we go over here. Remember, this is the key to the city. This will unlock a bunch of doors, man. I think I should grab that. So this is the master bedroom. Uh, guy still got um, his shoes, shoe collection going on in here. Some nice Stacy Adams. Smoker, got a lot of cigarettes over there. You can tell this was his little hook up here. And then over here, still got cards. Cards and stuff from family and all that. Here we go with, uh, this looks like court papers. Yeah, court papers. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, so this is the bed, the master bed. Chandelier hanging up. Pretty nasty bedroom. Uh, but, you know, you get to at least see it all that way. Not quite as ornate up here, but it's important to show it all. Show it all off. Kind of see what it is and what was left. Go back this way. Not even an old bike. Okay. And then if we just leads back into the uh, master bedroom again. Bathroom again. We'll make our way back down. Upstairs in the attic isn't anything anyways. It's just packed full of stuff. Downstairs, same thing. Not much down there anyway. So we'll go back through here one more time before we close the video out and give another brief little tour again. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. This house is amazing. It's one of my favorite houses because of just how old it is, uh, the history of it, but you can't talk about a lot of it because it'll give the spot away. But the gargoyles obviously are incredible. The woodwork, um, the antique furniture and vintage furniture that's in there and then everything left and set up still. I mean, it's just a, a gem when you find a spot like this, especially a house. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to Abandoned Central to see more videos and see all the latest content. Thank you all much.